Hello, six standard CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Today we are doing video number eighteen, chapter eight, body movements, part six, last part of the lesson. Okay. Now so far we have learned in this lesson human skeletal system and movements in animals. Right. We have done in detail human skeletal system as classification axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Under axial skeleton, you can have visible facial. Under axial skeleton, we have learned what structure of skull or cranium or brain box and ribs with the 12 pairs of ribs as true ribs, false ribs and uh, floating ribs and vertebral column. I hope you understand. Hmm? Now this uh, the appendicular skeleton, we have learnt it as pectoral girdle and bones of the upper limb and pelvic girdle, bones of the lower limb. That we have done in detail. And then we have done discussed assignments with the <coughs> chapter, sorry, video number 13, 14, 15, and 16. I hope you have understood the lesson. Huh? In our textbook, it is given very briefly. And we have done in detail about the joints. What do we know about joints? Joints are the place. The joints are the places where two bones meet. They are joined to each other by a pad of fibrous tissue, connective tissue called ligaments. I hope you remember. Huh? At this stage, you should understand, you should recollect two words, two terms. One is ligament, another one is tendons. What are the differences? Tendons are bundle of muscle fibers attached to the bone. Muscle to bone, it is tendon. Bone to bone, it is ligament. They are supportive, supporting connective tissue. I hope you understand. Yeah? And the joints, it is as fixed joint or immobile joint. Example, skull, except lower jaw. And the slightly movable joint as uh, knee, elbow, and vertebral column. That is slightly movable joint. And uh, movable joint where it is freely movable as ball and socket joint, gliding joint, and uh, hinge joint. These are all, one more, ball and socket joint, hinge joint, gliding joint, and pivot joint. These are all freely movable joints. I hope you understand. Can you recollect this? Yeah. So these are in detail we have learned. And then in video number 17, we have learned about movement in animals. That's the textbook. What is given in our textbook and the details on the in the video. I am just summing up. So now this one, second figure, what is given? It is movement in adverb. We have learned movement in adverb as it is formed of longitudinal and circular muscles and it has a body CT, bristle like body CT, which gets the grip of the soil. So this is in detail, we will study with reference to textbook. And then this is for movement in adverb. Then this is movement in fish. In our own fish swim in water. Yeah. And the characteristic feature, it has, uh, it has streamlined body and presence of uh, pectoral fin in the front pelvic fin in the back and the tail fin or the 
anal fin. Sorry. Now, what you are seeing here, it is different animals, different type of fishes. And all of them, they show forward movement. I hope you understand. Huh? The next one is movement in snake. It is called slithering and it shows undulating movement. The loop that is forming undulating movement. This is for snake. And next one, it is movement in birds, where birds are adapted to aerial mode of life, where we have learned four characteristic features. I hope you remember that. Four characteristic feature that is, uh, uh, what is that? The body, it is streamlined so that it can move in air easily and it has the lightweight bone called the pneumatic bones and uh, the body it is having sorry the lungs are having air sacs and front wing front uh, limb modified into feathers and the hind wing meant for hopping jumping running walking wading and swimming i hope you remember uh, now, these are the different positions when the birds are flying. Right? And the detail is further up. So, this is our uh, presentation. First, what we are going to continue. Now, here, what we are seeing in our textbook is body movement. Where, how do animals move from place to place? cow example legs walk. Yeah. Whereas human being, they are also moving, legs walking, running, jumping, lunch. Snake, whole body slithering. And bird fly. Insects fly. Body parts moving when the legs and wings. Whereas birds when the feathers. And the fish when the Fins and streamlined body. I hope you understand this. So, in a full of Muku Padiki for the leg, just to understand Pane and then movement in plants and detailed first video to the game, video number 13. They show tropic movement and nastic movement. Other order go through Pane. Plants will not move from place to place, they show movement of the body parts and they are of two types one is tropic movement respond to stimulus as light gravity water chemical these are and touch yeah so these are tropic movement directional movement and nastic movements are non-directional movement and human body and its movement can you bend your arm now? No? See, this boy, he stretched his hand and tied with the skin. Now, can you bend his uh, hand? Not possible. Yeah. So, when they try to like that, the mari, every pananam gara, we go through the lesson. Now, Chiramba Chala Right? Already I have given in detail. Now, in the table, when they, neck when they rotates completely. And when uh, lips are the law, end up movement of the cotton, other than even the ticket. Sure, in the column, the other parts of the body, you end up movement of the cotton, that you have to pick it. Right? In a solar there, neck, wrist, finger, knee, ankle, toe, back, head, elbow, arm. And then the movement of the children. I hope you follow. You can fill up. Try. Very little solitary. Sorry. The next one. This is the joints. Nare solitary again. Baller socket joint. Baller socket joint. Can you see? Hmm? You want me to read this? Body has. Press your finger in the paragraph. Press your fingers against the top of your head, face, neck, nose, ear, 
back of the shoulder, hands and legs, including fingers and toes. You feel something hard against pressing your fingers. The hard structures are the bones. Chariya. So in the structure, go through panna. And then uh, ball and socket joint with a example in the thigh bone. Thigh bone and the femur. It's called femur. The head of femur is fitting into the hip bone forming the cavity. Head of femur is fitting into the cavity that is hence it is ball and socket joint. This is the thigh bone. Chariya. Then pivoid joint, joint where your neck joins the head is pivotal. It allows us to bend our head forward, backward, side to side. And then left or right. Chariya. Try these movements. How are these movements different from those of our arm that can rotate a complete circle? So, it is the forward, near the forward, numeral and backward, left to right and side to side. I hope you understand. Hmm? The next is the pivot joint. The three the pivot hinge joint and the kite. You are the forward panamriya, madatamriya. Whereas leg and the backward panamriya, forward panamriya. Hinge joint, knee, mutti, and the pinnadi the madakmudi, munnadi madakmudi. Whereas hand and the munnadi mudiya, pinnadi mudiya. This is hinge joints. I hope you follow. Hmm? Then, where are we? Then, fixed joints. Some joints between bones in our head are different from those we have discussed so far. The bones cannot move at these joints. Such joints are called fixed joints. When you open your mouth wide, you can move your lower jaw away from your head. Lower jaw move up. So, there is a joint between the upper jaw and rest of the head of it. They are fixed joints. From the X-ray image, when they, you need to learn. In a solitary X-ray images, we have some idea. We can have some idea about the shape and number of bones in some parts of our body by feeling them. One way we could know this shape better would be to look at X-ray images of the human body. Then did anyone have X-ray in your family? Sometimes when we are hurt, doctors use the X-ray images to find out about any possible injuries. Injury na adi Injuries that might have happened to bones. Right? The X-ray shows shapes of the bones in our body. Right? So feel the bones in your forearm, upper arm, lower leg and upper leg. And then you can count the number of corpels and metacarpals. Same way, tarsals and metatarsals. Okay. So in the image, you the X-ray image of ankle and knee joint. Ankle and the palm cell, foot and the region. Right. So this the rib cage, shoulder bone. This is the vertebral column. Then structure of skull, it is movement of muscles, work at a opposite direction, triceps and biceps muscle. In the video 17, la, detailed the particular, you can go through it again. Right? The next one is the important later half we are going to concentrate. Gate of animals. Abina, how the animals move at the gate of animals. Chariya? And actually, we have learned about earthworm, garden snail, uh, and then cockroach as invertebrate, movement in invertebrates, and uh, fishes, snake, and birds as vertebrates. 
Yeah, about the. Hmm? So now this earthworm, observe an earthworm moving on snail soil in a garden. Gently lift it and place it in piece of blotting or filter paper. Observe its movement. Then place it on smooth glass slide or any slippery surface. Earthworm cannot move on a glass slide or slippery surface because it cannot get the grip. Soil, na, it can get the grip with the help of drizzle or body sitting, whereas smooth glass slide, la, earthworm cannot get the grip. So mark one again. Okay. So it is different from that of the paper. Okay. In the book diagram, the number book la erke. Na apre slide kam chenle right? The body of a earthworm is made up of many rings joined end to end. That is segmentation. An earthworm do not have bones, so it has muscles which help to extend and shorten the body. Muscles na. It has circular and longitudinal muscle. I hope you remember. Hmm? Earthworm has circular and longitudinal muscles. Okay. Now during movement, earthworm first extends the front part of the body, keeping the rear portion fixed to the ground. Then it fixes the front end and releases the rear end. That is churingi every Churingi viriyo. Abdi churingi churingi viriyo the monadi poham. So this is <coughs> movement in earthworm. This makes it move forward by a small distance by repeated contraction and relaxation of the uh, circular and longitudinal muscle. The earthworm move through the soil. Chariya? And it secretes slimy substance. To help the movement. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then under the body of earthworm, it has large number of tiny bristle-like structure that is called setae. Bhujala illai, note panikku. S-E-T-A-E, setae. S-E-T-A-E. The bristles are connected with the muscles. It is the setae. S-E-T-A-E. I hope you understand. Huh? So the earthworm actually eats its way through the soil. Its body then throws away the undigested part of the material that it eats. This activity of an earthworm makes the soil more useful for plants. It is actually loosening the soil by uh, uh, mixing the soil rich nutrients. That's why. It is called friend of the farmer. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then it is having a little It is having liquid skeleton. As it is an invertebrate, the whole body segmentation is filled with the blood. And the pressure of the blood on the wall of the, on the body wall makes a skeleton structure. So it is said earthworm is having Liquid skeleton. Same way, uh, snail vandu, it is uh, a garden snail. In the spiral structure, it is a hard protective shell. So now, this this is a hard protective shell. So now, this is called the shell. And it is the outer skeleton of the snail. But it is not made up of bone. So it is called snail is having external skeleton. Earthworm is having liquid skeleton, whereas snail is having external skeleton. The shell is single unit and does not help it moving from place to place. It has to be dragged along. Right? Okay, move under the snail, places snail on the glass plate and watch it. When it starts moving, the on the it lift the glass plate along with the snail over your head. Upon the, it secretes a small gelatinous or mucous substance. A thick structure and head of the snail may come out of the opening in, in the shell. This structure 
of its foot made of strong muscle the thick the thick structure is its foot made of strong muscle so the muscle the shell is in a thick structure veli la varudhu adhu da adoda foot muscular foot okay so the wavy motion of foot can be seen and the movement is very slow i hope you understand and then cockroach next one the cockroach we have done in detail cockroach it is made up of three segments head thorax and abdomen locomotion is done with the help of three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings present on the thoracic region Okay. so there are two pairs of wings attached to the body behind the head and the cockroach have distinct muscle those near the legs move the legs for walking and the body muscles move the way move the wings when the cockroach flies okay. and then this cockroach is also having external skeleton so snailum cockroachum example for external skeleton i hope you remember this yeah so this is for movement in cockroach and i am much now cockroach moves with the help of cockroach or insects as a whole moves with the help of three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings i hope you understand yeah? then next to and the birds birds as i said birds showy aerial mode of life birds fly in the air walk on the ground some birds like ducks and swan swim in water the wading chulula and the birds can fly because of their body are well suited for flying their bones are hollow and light and they are called pneumatic bones the bones of the hind limbs are typical for walking and perching perching na travi travi porilla right the bony parts of the four limbs they are modified into wings or feathers the shoulder bones are strong the breast bones are modified to hold muscles of flight which are used to move the wings up and down idu vandu na konja detailed ah solinda i hope you understand huh? so this is for body move sorry movement of birds right then uh, the detail mari inna konjam pore next vandu fish movement in fish illa vandu have you noticed the shape of a boat is somewhat like a fish you have you noted the head and tail of fish are smaller than the middle portion so it is called streamlined body the shape is such that water can flow around it easily and allow the fish to move in water and the skeleton of the fish is covered with strong muscles during swimming muscles make the front part of the body curve to one side and tail part swings towards opposite direction and the fish forms a curve as given in the diagram okay so by this swift movement the fishes are moving it is helped by the fins of the tail seriya after when the fish par move par idu vandu pectoral fin frontal idu vandu pelvic fin idu vandu tail fin or caudal fin ella fish ku me idla pectoral pelvic tail fin caudal fin fish also have other fins on their body which help to keep the balance of the body and to keep direction while swimming i hope you listening hmm? so snake chali as a slithering movement and this is gait of animals the ancient greek philosopher aristotle in his book gait of animals asked himself about the question why do different animals have the body part that they do have and how do these body parts help animal to move the way they do 
what are the similarities and differences in different parts of the animal between animals okay how many body parts are needed by different animals for moving from place to place idella questions just think panni vai next video session la discussion class bodu namma discuss pannuvom i hope you understand so idu kattade inna idhe lesson da movement in animals paapo then we will come back to this lesson seriya now idhula paaru body movements ipa chillana boys are running showing different actions illa idhu vandu innor reference books so nothing to worry it is another reference books illa details illa irukkanaala i want to show you children are running showing different movement and then idhula paaru the movement in arms as biceps contract triceps relax this is arm flexed if you can only arm flexed when you stretch your arm that is arm extended where biceps get relaxed and arm extended here the triceps will get contracted i hope you understand uh, then we say about the bones they are not solid they have a bone is a hard grayish white substance which two thirds is composed of inorganic matter or minerals like calcium phosphate and carbonate they make the bone more brittle just next additional points are idella just right then bone is formed of soft bone marrow which is producing rbc wbc for the blood i hope you follow this yeah and then idella just a reference idu vendam ulle paaru bones vandu they are of different size and shape sonna illa long bones and the bones of thigh leg toes arm forearm and fingers short bones and the wrist and ankle ankle na kanakkal wrist and the in the position and flat bone cranial bone scapula clavicle and sternum irregular bones vertebrae coccyx and certain skull facial bone cheek bone nasal bone i orbit there are irregular bones but cholla ad recollect panni seri then joints and types nariya cholliyaachu i am not going in detail idu paathuko marade figures nariya kuduthukken ungalku and then see here ribs and sternum na nadu ko labeling sternum paaru adha clear it is a broad bone sword bone per sternum okay and then it is the upper arm <coughs> clavicle scapula labeling for it then humerus radius and ulna wrist bone and the carpals palm metacarpals <coughs> fingers and the <coughs> phalanges go through for it for second go through for it figures can you the ribs and sternum la all clear can you adutte totally there are 206 bones as as a skeleton will have 80 bones appendicular skeleton will have 126 bone axial skeleton 80 bones appendicular skeleton 126 bone so totally 206 bones now at the same time the newborn baby will have around 300 bones but as, as the child grows some of the few bones will get fused and then totally axial skeleton will have 80 bones and appendicular will have 206 bones correct okay. in that the largest bone in human body is thigh bone or femur illa note panikenga 
largest bone in the human body is thigh bone or femur it is about 45 cm long in an average man whereas smallest bone is the stapes it is found in the human ear i hope you are listening hmm? then functions of skeletal system it general away kekla support provides framework it protects the vital internal organ it facilitates movement it stores it stores minerals of calcium phosphate and carbonate and it produces blood cells rbc wbc and platelets it's not given in our textbook so go through padikyo seriya then movement in animals at the gait of animals patale patale so animals move from place to place in response to different stimuli in search of food and shelter in order to mate and to escape from predators these movements are enabled by muscular actions in response to stimuli again various kind of organs like cilia example paramecium flagella example euglena appendages na cockroaches kasla adu fins limbs sitae muscular feet fins vandu fish sitae atworm limbs vandu any higher animals solala muscular feet vandu garden snail i hope you understand huh? now about fishes fish live in water their streamlined bodies are best suited for locomotion in water fins are their locomotory organ idu nalla inda lesson inda book la inda inda portion undu clear ah irukku alla easy ah puriyum go through pannu they are also adapted to move efficiently through water and most fishes swim by waving their tails from side to side example tuna fish fishes such as plaice and folders are flat when these fish swim they move up and down and the diagram then the side to side up and down part the eel fishes with a long body is it swims by moving its whole body from side to side bony fish possess swim bladder which are filled with gas and they are hydrostatic in function i hope you follow huh? so this is for swimming movement in different fishes okay so by moving certain fins fishes can change direction they can go up and down from left to right or from right to left okay then you have to detail that sorry with the help of body ct or or basal leg structure it get the grip and then can i say that by the contraction and relaxation of the circular and longitudinal muscle at the moves actually then cockroach it has six legs which are helpful in walking or running six legs na three pairs of legs present on the thoracic region then the cockroach kunde the thigh region per coxae right and then the movement in cockroach this is movement in cockroach simpler understand three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings i hope you follow huh? then other lower organisms round worms are fluid filled with muscles directed longitudinally permitting lashing movements only it is a endoparasite certain mollusks make use of hydrostatic property to perform digging movement with muscular foot then in mollusk example the garden snail external shells are formed from the material continuously secreted by the mantle and they take several forms even the nama textbook la irukke movement in garden snail then bird uh, snake vandu slithering movement forming 
many loops that is called undulating movements i hope you have understood hmm? so birds go or birds are detailed the clear are in the book la birds are best suited for aerial mode of life body is streamlined and thus offers the least amount of resistance of movement in the air their wings are modified for limbs the light weight of the body facilitates easy flight this is brought about by hollow bone that is called pneumatic bone and the air sacs in the cavity of the bones and powerful flight muscles are anchored to a bony flap on its chest the flap is called keel ye par the diagram the flap is very keel labeling career hmm? then the powerful pectoral muscles serve in pulling the wings downward and upward right now the following pictures show how most birds fly it when the down stroke down stroke na the wings on the pectoral muscles down stroke down stroke wings pare position ena solirke on the down stroke of the wing the feathers overlap that no air can get through down stroke la vandu feathers overlap so that no air can get through and the birds can push itself along through the air that is called down stroke right whereas up stroke diagram paare up stroke birds feather vandu mele thukittu ha up stroke on the up stroke feathers twist open so air passes through allowing the birds to lift its wings easily so modalla down stroke kele porrathu no air is allowed then when it goes mele thookrodu it allows air to enter i hope you understand so first is down stroke and then up stroke i hope you follow huh? then the bird lands by spreading out its wings and tail as wing landing every the bird lands by spreading out its wings and tail as a brake ore nalla virichu vande upar illa adha landing i hope you understand hmm? so the pictures vande down stroke up stroke and landing are you clear huh? so this is our gait of animals that is movement in animals that is given in our textbook sorry so it vande just for reference i have given that i will follow now me the pare go come back to our textbook see here the keywords are backbone collar socket joint bristles that is body seat in at one cartilage cavity fixed joint gait of animals hinge joint muscle outer skeleton pelvic bone pivotal joint rib cage shoulder bone skeleton streamlined these are the key words we have learnt in this lesson okay so in the points when they you can go through bones and cartilage form the skeleton of the human body it gives the frame and shape to the body and helps in movement it protects the inner organ okay then human skeleton comprises the skull backbone rib and the breast bone shoulder and hip bone and bones of hands and legs bones are moved by alternate contraction and relaxation of biceps and triceps muscles sure yeah. then bones joints are various depending on the nature of the joint and direction of movement they allow then movement in birds movement in fish slithering movement in snakes and cockroach at all idella gait of animals la padichirukku right snails move with the help of muscular i hope you understand yeah? so this is our lesson chapter 8 
body movement i have split as six parts so that we will understand easily i hope you have understood this yeah so the summary or second go through panna ena theriyudha par ellame what you have learned as six videos ellame it has summed up i hope you understand yeah ella undu adaptations of birds la points irukku it i could cube will be given accordingly you will enter so yeah, you will study sorry accordingly you have to study i hope you understand can you hmm? shall we continue right so this is our video number 18 where we are completing the lesson chapter a body right so we will continue in the next video session have a good day thank you